hello welcome back to our youtube channel today we are going to see the course app problem that is maximize sum okay <clears throat> so in this problem we are given an array a of length and and we can perform the following operation on it any number of times okay we need to choose any two distinct indices i comma j and multiply both ai and aj by minus one that is set ai equal to minus i ai and also aj equal to minus aj that is the thing and we need to find the maximum possible sum of the array after performing this operation several times okay <coughs> so to understand better let's see these some test cases okay let me pick some yeah <coughs> so in the first case we have one this color is not good here Okay, maybe some yellow color. Yeah, yellow color is good. Okay, <clears throat> so let's say we have one zero three three. So there is no negative number. That means we can directly take the sum and we can get our answer. So one zero three three. That means seven is the sum, and this is our answer. So let's see another case. So if we talk about this case, minus three, four, six, two, minus one. Yes. So we can choose index this one and this one, and if we multiply this with the minus one, that means it becomes three, four, six, two, and one. And now if we take the sum, it will be sixteen. Three, four, seven, thirteen. Fifteen and sixteen, so this is our answer. Yeah, so we can directly do this. Let's say if you have here minus one here, minus ten here, we can make again a pair and multiply, right? So that means if we have the number of negative numbers as even, the count of negative numbers is even. That means we can form the pair. and we can convert them to positive then we can take this sum directly that is the simple thing if we have any negative number let's say if there are problem is like there is a problem where when the number of negative numbers are odd in the third case yes in this case in this case we have minus 1 3 and 4 okay so we can't form this pair and we need to take the sum directly so what is the sum minus 1 3 2 and 4 6 this is our answer but this is a simple example let's take another example here so let's say if you have the test cases like this 1 3 4 let's say this is the minus 4 what will be our answer if you are thinking our answer is zero then you are wrong why let's say we have we can choose this index and this index and multiply so what it will become it will become minus 1 3 and 4 now the answer is 6 and this is the correct answer we need to maximize and we can perform any number of operations right now the question is how to solve this problem how can we solve this problem so what we need to do first <clears throat> first we need to convert all numbers like we need to count the numbers which are negative and at the same time during counting will add will take the sum like let's say we have a answer variable and we will add all the values in this if there is negative value we will convert it to positive then add okay this thing we will do and if if the count is even that means we have our answer directly we don't need to do anything we will return as it is and if if there is odd number of negative number or number of negative numbers 
then what we will do we will capture a minimum element in this array whole array will capture a minimum element and what we will do we will do answer minus equal to two times two times of this minimum element and what is this minimum element this minimum element is the number in the positive sense like if we consider this minus 1 3 4 so if we convert this 1 2 1 3 and 4 then 1 is the number I'll also explain with this example let's say 1 3 minus 4 so what is the uh, minimum number minimum number is here this because we can convert this as the positive number okay so let's see some code okay so let's see some code so what we will do we will take a vector like take the n take the vector and count the negative numbers or also define the answer and also minimum variable we will take the input like this and we will check if i is less than 0 our count will be updated and we can multiply this number with the minus 1 and we'll add this number into answer variable and we'll also update our minimum value and if it is odd we'll subtract that otherwise we'll directly return and why subtract two times because one is added initially and it will create the negative impact later that's why hope you understood this solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding